Hi everybody, thanks for being here. I tell you what, you know it's a bad day when you are driving through rain and there's four days forecasted and it starts raining inside your RV. So I got two rocks on my windshield while I was driving to Texas and I called my cousins and asked them if they could line up somebody to do a two-star repair. Well, it turns out that it was going to be supposedly just as easy to replace the windshield. And then when the rains came and it started pouring rain inside my windshield, I'm like, well, that's a good thing that we're replacing the windshield. Only it went downhill from there. If you can believe it gets any worse. Watch this video. Show me. Well, we found this a universal molding. And the windshield evidently has been glued in and this molding placed over it. So this isn't the original. So all of that has to come off. All of this has to come out, the windshield come out, and the, all of this sealant needs to be be taken out of here. And then, and then you and can see- And that's gonna be a little issue. I tried to place the windshield in the car once, my very first car back in Massachusetts in like 1980, I won't admit it. And I, I never tried again. Now I just let people know what they're doing to it. Yeah, well, the, somebody, whoever did this one shouldn't have ever done it. <laughs> so nothing with this rig is ever simple. He's going to have to take the windshield off so that we can have hours, he says. Because all that stuff has to come off. And we may have to end up using this windshield because we can't find an aftermarket that fits this old rig. But we're on it. He's going to take it off. And I'm going to start scraping. We got this. Here's, here's how I, here's what I caught the rain with while I was driving. Now I'll take my basket out so we can start cleaning. And I know I'm not wearing yeah, my mask I, right, but I'm not know. near anybody. This is so if anybody walks up, I can put my mask on. So y'all don't need to leave me a ton of comments about wearing my mask wrong. I, I got it. I got it. This and, is uh, here. Yeah, so Mike's over there on that side. He using his tools. We don't know how we're going to clean his tools up. But he showed me how to do it, and we've been working, what, about an hour, Mike? Yeah. And I've gotten two inches, and he's gotten about... Ten inches. About ten inches over there. It's slow going. So the reason, I guess I should explain the reason we're having to do this, because I know a lot of you are going to be like, you don't have to do that. Well, the glass guy took the windshield out so that we can spend the weekend getting this, because all this has to come out down to the metal. I might end up having to paint the, the around the frame so that it looks decent. But whoever installed the previous windshield took the original gasket off, glued it down with whatever this tar glue stuff is, and then they put the windshield in, and then they tried to make it smooth with more glue. And all of that has to come off for him to be able to install a windshield properly. So we're having fun this weekend. What are y'all doing? Day two of this windshield mess. I'm moving a little slowly, but I'm up and ready to get her done. And Robert made me a fajita and cheese and egg omelet. And I made the coffee the night before, but he served me coffee with my brekkie. Okay, no, I have not grown a mustache. I just got dirty climbing up and finishing up. As you can see, it's all silver now down to the metal around the windshield which is what we had to accomplish and uh, you get a little dirty in the process a lot of our trash from the wet cleaning the, the window uh well was down in the cowl 
So. Oh, you had to take, to take that off. I had to take the cow piece off so I could get down in there and vacuum all of the trash out of it. And uh, and we'll put this back on. It, it goes up under here like this. And we'll put that back on when we get done here. All right, well, uh, it sure looks clean now. And Debra, you did a magnificent job on cleaning all of that trash off of that windshield mount. Well, thank you. Couldn't and, have done it without your tools and you. And we're gonna, we're gonna seal stuff up now with, with paper and plastic and start getting ready to sand and paint here. Okay, so this is a reason why you don't use silicone. We looked up on Google, Cindy found a lot of solutions, including minerals, spirits, and all kinds of stuff. We also used a, a round sander, sanding blocks, scraping, and now we're trying something that we saw on Google, since we've gotten it down pretty close to the paint, uh, that it said use steel wool and like a comet paste. And so we're trying that, but when silicone is fine for a quick fix on leaks if you're not ever going to have to remove it or really replace something like a window or a frame or something or do a re real repair because then you have to take that silicone off and trust us it's not easy right mike that's right and we're going to paint this and paint won't stick to silicone yeah so you so it's got to come off yeah so we're having to scrape it down to the metal probably we're trying to save as much paint as we can and so, like he said, paint won't stick to silicone, so it's got to come off. So don't use that stuff if you can do a proper repair. Okay, and there are products you can use like Be Gone and stuff like that that Mike was just telling me about. It's like $29 for eight ounces. And remove. Remove. Re, oh, yeah, read, re move. But, um, it, it, you know, there are products you can use, but you also, if you're going to paint again or install... Uh, uh, what's that called that goes underneath the glass? The oh, uh, adhesive yeah. for glass adhesive or, or uh, the uh, the edging material, the oh, gasket. gasket. Yeah. yeah. So if you're gonna you're gonna paint again, or you're gonna install a gasket or something that has to be uh, that has to adhere to the surface, you can't have the residue left over. And so we've gotten most of the silicone off, but right now we're having to get the residue off. So I just wanted to clarify that. I know there are products that will get silicone off, but if you're going to have something that has to adhere to the surface, um, you know, then you've got to get it down, even uh, all the residual stuff off. And that's what we're dealing with. So I just wanted to clarify. So what we're doing now is putting up, uh, starting the prep for painting. And we're putting up the first layer of trying to not get it inside the RV. Bendita, are you having fun while we work? Huh? Are you having fun while we work? You've been playing with your chicken with Aunt Cindy, haven't you? Huh? Have you been playing with your chicken with Aunt Cindy? You good boy. That's almost an exact match. It's supposed to be. That's gonna look so good. It does look match. I think I got the right color. Well, there's only a couple to choose from and they didn't have but one of them, so. So we have now finished painting and we are going to let this dry overnight. Um, I won't put the windshield on here like we did last night. Um, we leaned the windshield in, but we don't want to do anything to mess the paint up from drying. And Bandit! <laughs> they have lots of squirrels here. And uh, anyway, so we'll sleep with this like this tonight and, um, it, and it'll be fine. 
no rain or anything is expected and uh, hopefully it'll dry real good tomorrow and tomorrow night we can lay the windshield back in and then he'll be here on Monday by the time you see this uh, you're gonna yeah you're seeing uh, the finished product hopefully okay we ended up doing bricks instead and that's gonna work much better and now it's time to go inside for some dinner look how pretty that is ain't that pretty well if I look a little frazzled, there's a reason for it. I still don't have a windshield. The guy showed up today, started showing Mike and I how to help him. Started off by saying, I don't know if this is the right windshield or the right gasket, I've never done this before. And then later he tells Mike that he hadn't done it for like 10 years. And before the windshield is even installed, he only gets one corner done. He's like, yeah, I can't do this, I'm done literally bails on the job. So I will put in the pinned comment and the video description who not to use if you're in the Gulf Shores area. And stay tuned. We've now called and got a recommendation from a real business to a real business that is almost in Houston. And they are out of the goodness of their heart sending somebody out in the morning because of the predicament that we're in. Whatever happened, to people doing business the right way and doing what's honorable. I just, I just don't get it. But I'm very lucky that I continue to find people that do. And I'm very grateful to my cousins because Robert and I would just be up a creek if it weren't for them and for them letting us park here. And they've been feeding us all this wonderful food. And yeah, I was like, no, Mike's not doing another bit of your work, mister. And then he was going to take the windshield out and because I said, I'm not paying you for a job you didn't do. So Robert's like, this isn't our property. <laughs> he needs to get off of their property and be gone. Pay him and get rid of him. So I paid him, he left, wouldn't even give us a receipt, don't need it. And uh, stay tuned. Okay, you guys, don't judge me. First cup of coffee. They got here at eight o'clock this morning, which I'm really glad. And he's talking to headquarters uh, out of Bay City, uh, Houston, to find out what to do about my windshield. <laughs> so he got an early start this morning, and can y'all see my eye? Something bit me. <laughs> so, fun, fun. It wasn't me. <laughs> this time. I'm also still drinking my first cup of coffee. I don't bite till after I have at least two cups of coffee. All right, everybody, so this is Devin, CNM Auto Glass in Bay City. And they're taking good care of us. We're going to be on the road, he says, by tomorrow. Thank you, Devin. Ain't no problem. You guys take it easy. They didn't change the body style and Jeep in until about, I think, 97. Well, uh, he's uh, installing the windshield. I'm gonna feed Bandit and I've made us some coffee. And I uh, guess we'll stand around and drink coffee and watch Devin install the windshield. At least it's getting done. <laughs> So my windshield is installed and these guys, all three of them behind me rock. Thank you guys. <laughs> I tried putting a windshield in and replacing a windshield in a vehicle. Oh wait, you can't do it. <laughs> Give me your bloopers. 